Hi, my name is Farley C. Um, welcome to this quick installment of my quick little YouTube videos of the research I've been doing in rigging. So, just to give you a quick ex uh, explanation of what we have here, we have an, a common RP solver and we have this brand new IK system that was created in the last production um, that I worked on. So. The reason why we have two of these is because our automatic hips lose accuracy every time we don't know the exact knee position. The second problem that our automatic hips have is if they rely on a classic RP solver, this popping here is not something that it scrubs out. So the hips themselves will pop in and out and give a really interesting but completely totally incorrect walk system. So, what we need is something that will kind of go through everything smoothly, like our new system right here. Now, in making this work for our automatic um, hip controllers um, that you could see in my enhanced IK video, another great thing about this is this is a no pop knee. There's no popping in it whatsoever. So, if we just come through and scrub, you keep seeing that the red one and let's select the red one. Once again, it's our classic RP solver. And this is our new IK system in the blue one. We keep seeing that it meets its goal much quicker, but as we go through it, you could even see it just snaps there. It doesn't clean itself out, it just pops. So when animators are working, they usually have to go through and clean up that system, or there's, um, knee systems that give a little squash and stretch at the bottom. So if we take a look at what's going down on down here at the bottom, you'll see that they end in the same place. This doesn't stretch at all. This gives us a lot more accuracy. Um, it allows for making squash and stretch in the legs that uh, with a lot less nodes, so when this has to be applied to a cartoon character, there'll be, it'll be um, it'll, it'll be a less heavy rig, so it'll work faster. And so this entire system is basically based on one measurement tool that we have that reinterprets the way orientations are set. So believe it or not, there's not any constraints built in or um, even programming required to make this system work. So very quickly, let's hide our new system so we could see the popping by itself with no distraction. So here we go, here's our classic. And there you could see that jolt. If we just let it play through, you'll actually see that that's not set. We'll just skip doing anything. I'll just keep my hand moving evenly across time back and forth and you could see that when it happens slowly you don't notice it as much but when the animator is working on it it's something that they're going to have to keep trying to tweak and work out so that's what the big problem is there now if we zero out the visibility of our RP and we just look at our new system. I'm going to go through this rather quickly. Now slowly. Trying to keep the same space while um, scrubbing. And you could see that there's just no popping whatsoever. There's no stretching. So once again, that allows for a lot better accuracy. Um, that makes our automatic hips uh, swivel a lot better, more realistically. Um, this system right here, although it's, it was a quick, small fix, it really improves the system's uh, overall performance um, in great detail. So with that, this has just been a quick installment of my rigging research. Um, you could always send me uh, an email through YouTube or however you'd like to contact me to find out a little bit more. So with that, great thanks to you.